So Therese did an interview on the Joe Biden podcast. So let's get right into it as Samantha Lee responds, takes to Instagram to respond to this interview. Here are the highlights from the two hour podcast. It's disrespectful. There's two, there's three sides. There's shut the fuck up. I'm telling y'all. I put my soul into that. Never cheated. No DMs. No get up in the sprinter. <laughs> in the, I live in Atlanta, nigga. The fucking ratio is 90 to 1. Never left the house. I live three minutes from the Lenox Mall. I've been living there for seven years in Buckhead. And I've only been to the Lenox Mall three times. As an alpha male, every bit of straight... <laughs> Nigga, we don't really right exist. Here. Commitment to the 10th power. <laughs> yeah. On that level in the ATL. Women are out here sitting across from niggas like, do you actually want me? Aggressive. Mm -hmm. And that's no disrespect. I don't want no gay and homosexual backlash. I'm not saying nothing. Do what makes you happy. I'm saying in Atlanta, I love Jesus. I got a real estate license. I, I have money. I started my own law firm. I got a dental practice. Women out there, spellmen, they educated, yeah, yeah. they love, nigga, they are thick, nice, uh, the whole shit. <laughs> the whole one. package. Pickens is right there, man. Right? And you walking around that motherfucker and you like, for me to be married in Atlanta, nigga, after this level of vaginal activity I've been involved in, <laughs> I was absolutely committed to my marriage. This up uh, when I announced the divorce. And, and I, I know everybody here, including Melissa, you're going to follow this. How can you naturally know how to be something you were never raised by? True. What is a father? I say it all the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. I never had one. I say it all the mm -hmm. time. What's a, what's a husband? We mm -hmm. learn it on the fly. I, mm -hmm. I, I was not in a household with an example of what a husband and a marital dynamic is. So, nigga, when you get married... I don't give a fuck how much in love you are. You're winging it. You're learning on the fly. Mm -hmm. What is your blueprint? Yeah. What is your point of reference? You don't have one. You don't have one. No, some people do. No. So is it a good reason not to be a good husband if you have no point of res reference? So no father figure, didn't have a father. Your mother growing up did not have a husband. Is that a reason for a man to be a bad husband? I was scared to cheat. I was like, God is going to whoop. God is going to... The level of beat down that would come from me disrespecting this. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Let's get into it. Now, this might make some people mad, but it is what it is. Y'all, once you learn what someone is capable of, you have to handle them a little different. DMX said this and it resonated with me. He said, it's too hard not to trust people. Instead, he trusts people to be who they are. He trusts a snake to be a snake. He trusts a liar to lie. He trusts someone who cheats to cheat. I can forgive you for what you've done. And I thank you for showing me what you're capable of because now I know how to handle you. And it will be irresponsible of me to give you the same kind of access knowing what I know now. You think you the only one sad about the divorce? Oh, so when I talk about the divorce, I'm bashing you. I'm misogynistic. I'm condescending. Oh, that's why. He's a narcissist. Narcissist. It's, that's the go-to. You know no, no, no. I got feelings. And every time a relationship ends, it's not always the man's fault. So I don't give a fuck how consistent that yeah. narrative has been. Oh, it was never my fault, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so now, we also got... The female R&B community that's now singing every song imaginable, beating the shit out of men. That's the fuck men, up. Men are, always, men are always pushed to just get over it. That's why. Yo, let that shit go. Yo, go. Stop putting your business out there. Man up. You scared go to church. I'm normalizing dog, the dialogue. Man. Normalizing dog, the dialogue man. for us as men to be able to say, this is what the fuck I feel. And this is what I'm feeling. And you're not going to shame me into not feeling it. That's it. And guess what? If you don't want to hear this shit, go listen to every other woman that's been saying the same shit since the beginning of time about men. Go listen to that album. Go support that concert. Go read that book. But your album, you said, will not be released this year. It's not. You know what? I love this and I love normalizing men speaking out, speaking about their feelings because Tyree speaks about being absolutely scared to cheat as a 
alpha male that is just some oh that is a whole word a word we don't hear often as women and you know it was quite refreshing listening in on this interview hearing him talk about his feelings and that he will talk about his feelings until he is done feeling whatever it is that he's feeling i i, I think he's entitled to that because we do see samantha she's watching everything because she's already responded already after the podcast um with a take with an instagram post Post, and now the Instagram post went on to TMZ and the shade room, and now she's responded again to that. Family, and here's what she said I'm gonna call this one, let the rain do the talking. Y'all ready? Let's get into it. Family, Noah didn't stop building the ark to explain himself to every doubter and hater. And remember, they had reason to doubt him because people at that time had not even seen rain. So for him to be prepared for something they had never seen before seemed like insanity. Side note. Have you ever met a hater doing better than you? I'll wait. Despite every doubter and hater, Noah kept building. So I say this to you, family. I know what your doubters and haters are saying sounds real, but it's not truth. Keep building and let the rain do the talking. All right. Dreaming.